Hi there, and thanks for checking out this video. I'm John from Tennis Companion, and today we're doing a review and play test of the Wilson Blade 98 18x20 V8. Before we get started, I did want to let you know that Wilson sent me this racket to review. However, beyond that, I haven't been paid by Wilson or anyone else to discuss it. With that said, let's get started with the Wilson Blade V8 specs so you know exactly what you're getting with this racket. Back in 2006, Wilson released their first blade, and today it's one of the game's most popular rackets that's well known for its excellent feel, control, and comfort. This model of the Blade V8 comes in your standard length of 27 inches with a smaller 98 square inch head size and a tighter 18 by 20 string pattern. In one of my recent videos, I reviewed the Blade 98 16 by 19 V8. So if you'd like to check that out, be sure to view the links in the description. For its unstrung weight, Wilson quotes the frame at 10.76 ounces or 305 grams. And the racket I have on hand weighs nearly spot on at just under 10.8 ounces or 306 grams. For its strong weight, you can add 18 or so grams depending on your string of choice. Plus, you'll find its swing weight comes in at 327. The Blade V8 18x20 has a 7 point headlight balance at 32 centimeters unstrung, which drops to 4 points headlight at 33 centimeters with strings installed. For its stiffness, the Wilson Blade has a lower, arm-friendly RA rating of 60. Finally, the racket has a consistent 21mm beam all the way around. If you're looking to dive deeper on any of these specs, I'd encourage you to check out my guides on these topics which I've linked in the video's description. To save you a bit of time, I'm not going to cover this frame's tech or new cosmetic which I discussed at length in my previous video on the 16x19 model. If you'd like to learn more about those topics, be sure to check out that video. For my playtest of the Wilson Blade 98 18x20 V8, I'm using 1.25mm Luxalon Alu Power Rough, strung at 52 pounds or 23.6 kilograms, which is a low-powered polyester that offers excellent control, spin, and feel, and pairs nicely with the blade. Of course, if you're looking for a bit of extra comfort, you could pair a polyester with a natural gut or multi-filament, which would also help bump up the frame's power. Now that you know what to expect, let's jump into my playtest and review. Before we get started, here are a few playtest notes that you might find useful when considering my thoughts and opinions on this racket. Hitting ground strokes, I thought the Wilson Blade offered excellent all-around performance with a strong emphasis on control that's aided by its smaller 98 square inch head size. I especially enjoyed the frame's lower power and predictable response which gave me the confidence to swing freely while maintaining accuracy. The 18x20 string pattern offers a slightly stiffer response compared to its 16x19 counterpart, but it carries the added benefit of naturally lowering the trajectory of my forehand to deliver flatter, more penetrating shots. Perhaps one of my favorite parts about the racket off the ground is its weight, which cuts easily through a heavy ball while maintaining stability. It also delivers excellent comfort with an RA or stiffness rating of only 60. Overall, I thought the Wilson Blade 98 18x20 held up very well at the net. It's not the lightest or quickest to maneuver hitting volleys, but if you're comfortable with the weight and early in your preparation, you'll be rewarded with excellent stability and precise striking. From a feel standpoint, I thought the racket delivered an above average performance that instilled added confidence in finessing the ball. On serve, the Blade is a solid performer. It shines in delivering accurate placement, and although it's a bit more demanding when it comes to hitting a bigger serve, it's not entirely void of power either. For strong, intermediate to advanced players, I think it strikes the right balance between accuracy and a resilient enough response for adding pace when needed. Hitting kick or slice serves, I found the racket's tighter string pattern didn't offer much bite, so it required a bit of extra focus to get the movement I was looking for, but all in all, I thought it performed well. Finally, hitting returns, I really enjoyed the Blade 98 18x20. 
Although its weight demands well-timed preparation and positioning, it rewards players with rock-solid stability that can easily handle extra pace. Combined with its overall emphasis on control, the racket helps to deliver accurate and deep replies without having to worry too much about overhitting. Overall, I'm a big fan of the update to the Blade 98 18x20. Rather than break the mold of what we've come to expect from this frame, Wilson fine-tunes the racket, which I found largely improves performance across the board, except for a slight reduction in maneuverability compared to the 7th generation. From my experience, it's best suited for strong, intermediate to advanced players that are looking for maximum control and precision in the Blade lineup with excellent comfort. On the other hand, this racket is not ideal for beginners, early intermediates, and those who are looking for an easier to manage racket that enhances spin and power. If you'd like to learn more about the Blade 98 18x20 V8, be sure to check out my full write-up which I've linked in the video's description. If you enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate it if you give me a thumbs up. Of course, if you have any questions, feel free to comment below. And if you'd like to join me for future videos, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks so much for watching, I'll see you in the next video.